Welcome to another video of Czech Premodern. It's me, Tomáš, and, and I'm here as well, Adam Koska. And we have uh, we have another matchup for you. Uh, I have to say, I, I I don't know with which deck we should start because they are both really beautiful. Our friend and provider of the deck is um, is here, Katuma, and he has like beautifully pimped blue white tempo uh, with with your old mother of runes, uh, Southern Alliance, Meddling Mage, Silver Knight, and Weather Gray Pirate. Uh, packed up with some counter magic, with some card draw, with standstill and Armageddon. I really like the deck. I think it's it's pretty powerful. It's something similar to what we had here last time, you know, with the four, four color, you know, with the four mm -hmm. four, four color right. tempo. Uh, what I like a lot that you have some counter spells because often these decks only need to counter like one spell, mm -hmm. you know, the crucial sweeper, and then it's the end of the game. Uh, and I think uh, it's only one off in the main deck, but very crucial in this particular matchup will be Armageddon, uh, which is almost like a game over. Yep. But we want to try it because it's certainly a decent deck and then some people's favorite. Yeah, I think I think it's a it's a very interesting matchup. What I'm playing uh, today is uh, Red White uh, Rift. This deck used to be called Astral Slide, but then that card was dropped. So the, the next enchantment on the line is uh, Lightning Rift. So uh, red white control, a lot of uh, removal, um, solid late game with decrease of justice and stuff. Um, and I think, like as Tomasz said, I think this is a very interesting matchup because uh, your deck is essentially creature based, and and this deck has a ton of creature removal. But on the other hand, um, both decks are very interactive. So you have counter magic in, against my removal. You have um, enchantment removal against the lightning rift, and of course there's the Armageddon, which you already mentioned, which. Could be. I'm not gonna lie. It. It. You know, I'm. I'm not gonna uh, be wanting to see that card. Yeah. But yeah. This. This deck. Um. Uh, it. It used to be. Uh, uh, like one of the. Um, uh, basic decks in in standard, and then I think it saw some some play in other formats as well. In pre modern, you can you can play against it quite often. I think. What I think is interesting is like some people love decks that just like remove creatures and you draw a card. You don't really play on the stack. There are not many like instants, you know, of course you can cycle things in response, but it's not like uh, basically you're casting spells that draws you a card and it can't be countered, which is kind of very tempting, I would mm. say. And I'm really interested because it's really full of removal. I think yeah, you can get yeah. into control. Also kind of weird card in my deck is standstill, because if I play it like mid late game, it can backfire spectacularly because you can uh, you can just cycle everything and create degree of justice. It's, yeah, that's but I, the, the but I hope we're not getting there. Yeah, yeah. So we'll yeah. see. And as for this deck, maybe one last thing. I think there basically there are two different modes that it plays. One when it has lightning rift in play, where the world's your oyster. Basically, you kill anything on side. And then then there's the harder mode when you don't uh, get lightning rift. The deck can still win, uh, but uh, it can turn into a bit of an uphill battle sometimes. Yeah, I think there is quite clear what I'm naming turn two with Magic Mage. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that's the thing, yeah. Uh, so that's the matchup, let's see how the games play out. Welcome to round one, and I won the die roll, and I'm so happy to cast this beautiful, <laughs> beautiful summer line. I'm happy for you. Uh, not happy that I'm uh, not on the play, but well, what can you do? So I'm gonna play Battlefield Forge and pass. The two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just going to waste money. Okay, that is unfortunate. Um, hmm. Okay, in response. Because I know that Adam's something. deck is really mana hungry, and especially mm. early game, this is almost like a time walk. I'll take one and sort uh, the okay. the. Fair enough. Uh, the summon line. So you gain some life? Yes. Oh yeah, this is Let's destroy this it. is very much dead. Um hmm, okay. So I'll play a land and pass. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Silver knight. Sure. Uh, lightning Rift. Of course you have it. And go. Two. Uh -huh. Fifteen. 
So the lightning rig still can't kill the silver knight uh, because I it feels pretty probably. good about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've noticed. Let's see, <laughs> see what's going. All right. Um, hmm. I think I just want to. I think I just want to pass the turn here. Oh, really? Go. No yeah. land. No land. That's unfortunate. Oh, what happens? Just leave your wasteland people and then pretend that you're sorry about it. Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> yep. That hand. is also unfortunate, yes. And it's your turn. All right, end of turn. I'll cycle uh, Forgotten Cave. Mm -hmm. Pay one mana. Yeah, so and destroy yeah, that. So this one's dead. You take two and I draw a card. Mm -hmm. And so, just wasn't it better to cycle in your turn to maybe get a land? Um, I think well, you I mean, really want your land draw, right, right? But I also, if you cast something, yeah, like if you cast right. a creature, I want to kill it at the end of turn. That's true. So on my turn, I'm gonna cycle the Eternal Dragon mm -hmm. and get the planes, which I'm gonna play straight away. How many cards? Three. Okay. So. Um, Stay for the late game and <laughs> I'll pass the turn to you. Attack mm -hmm. 11. Like this. Uh -huh. I think you have loads of answers for that. <laughs> Go. We still have a bunch of cards. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to try it end of turn. Yeah, I think counter. it's too valuable. It's fine. Um, hmm. Okay, on my turn, I'm gonna cycle, draw a card. Yes, do you want damage, right? Yes. Definitely. Yes. Um, I, I didn't go. think this would play. <laughs> this thing. The two. Nine. Mm -hmm. And it's your turn. Mm hmm. Hmm. I mean, you have cyclers that can gain you life. You have mm -hmm. cards that gain you, that give you life. No, this is still a pretty solid clock, especially if you have some counter magic up your sleeve. You have so two more sorts of pleasures. You have also humility. Um, I'm gonna cast the Phyrexian first. You, you have that first card in the bottom. That is also cycling in this matchup, except for it doesn't have cycling. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I might do something else. Um, Yeah, I think I want to play a rift. Probably hmm. counter it. Hmm, I think you have it. Okay. Um, exile the bottom card. Mm -hmm. and go. Stand. I think it's a good chance. Mm, which one? Ah. Okay. Which one? That's a fair point. <laughs> Seven. So mm -hmm. we're going to eat. All right. Hmm. Okay, exile the bottom yes. card. And I'm going to draw a card. Exiling. It doesn't matter, right? Oh. Some seven line, maybe. Seven line. Okay. Draw a card. Come on. Play another mm -hmm. land. And I'm gonna pass the turn. So and I want to build something with Sapples in in it. Our upkeep, it's I'll it's try it. to build the sun line. It's cycling, right? No, 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 I'm just gonna dealing one damage to it. If you cycle it, it doesn't actually do anything. So I'm actually hard casting I the spore spray. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's correct, but I feel the call. Yeah, so I much go to faster. three. Go. Not feeling super comfortable about this. Hmm. 
Okay, I'll cycle again on my turn. Um, mm -hmm. I'd like to draw a card. Okay. Um, go. Mm, one. And go. Mm, end of turn. Cycle. Yes. Cycle. Yes. Two planes. Yeah, the, the card I really don't want to see is the, the thing that gives you life. <laughs> you can cycle it, you gain two, and you can cast it to gain six life. Mm -hmm. That would prolong the game maybe a bit too much. How many cards? Five of these. Still three cards. Huh. I think I misplayed here. I think I should have done it differently. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this should have been done differently. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm gonna pass the turn and in your upkeep, mm -hmm. I'll try something again. Try to sort the plowshares. Yeah, that's, that's the mistake. Yeah, I should have just hard casted before cycling the the mm -hmm. eternal dragon. So that resolves. Uh, you draw a card. I draw a card. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, I'll cycle. Yes. So Basically, you go, you go to one again. Yeah. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I play another mm. fruit. Sure. And it's your turn. Mm. Draw a card. Oh, okay, man. I think I'm dead. Um, Do you want to draw first? Yeah, there's something I can do in my upkeep, so I'm I thinking see. about that. I guess it won't be returning a turn of dragon. Um, well, that's a way how to go down, but no, I think I'm just going to draw. Mm -hmm. um, draw a card. Yes. One thing I find refreshing about Primodern is that nobody can punish you for drawing cards. <laughs> All these nasty cards from... Like I say, say, here you can draw as much as you want. Cycle, draw a card. Yes. Um, that's it, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm sorry. It's pretty unfortunate to lose when you drew three sorts of plowshares. Well, you had a lot of counter magic. I, and... I did have, but yeah. probably countering uh, the kill for the, for the lion was potentially a mistake. Basically, I turned my prohibit into a shock. Mm. Yeah, but I think I threw like, away the game. Like, I, if yes. I uh, if I sword when I still have three mana available, uh -huh. then you can't counter, and yes. then I cycle for the dragon, play the land, and cycle. There was the, another the question whether I should yeah. play, because I could play both cards there. I could play a leak and prohibit, but I felt he'd okay. be casting something like, say, okay, okay. I know, humility. You know, mm. I might uh, be better with uh, mm -hmm. the yeah, right. okay, okay, let's go to sideboarding. Yes. Uh, wonderful. So here we are with the with the just before the second game, and uh, I have to say I have big problems. I I mean it was very clear for me what I want to bring in. I want to bring another Armageddon. I want to have two Annul. I want to have two two blasts, which are fantastic because they I don't need disenchant when uh, when Adam resolves uh, the rift. I also have one more Hour of Silence and one Exalted Angel. Uh, I really did not like creatures that have one toughness. They feel very bad. I think my my southern alliance were they're beautiful, but they were not so efficient. I'm still not sure whether it was correct to be so aggressive with the counter there, but you know, it eventually got me there through Adam mistake. So I decided. No need to rub it in. No, no, no I, I was not rubbing. I'm not. That's not. Uh, <laughs> that's not my style. Uh, oh, sometimes. <laughs> uh, so I decided to take out uh, two sorts of plushers. I know Adam has like Exalted Angel, or usually these kind of decks that don't play any creatures. Uh, guys, if you don't play any creatures in your main deck, it's a very good idea to have at least like three creatures in the sideboard because it's relatively unexpected. And even if you, uh, even if your opponent expects it, uh, it usually, you know, threat is always better than the answer. Yeah, right? yeah. So I decided to take out two mothers, three 
three alliance and two swords. I think uh -huh. it's quite clear. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my problem was what to board out because there's a bunch of cards that don't really do anything against you. Uh, like Seal of Cleansings against the five color white queen. At least it gets their Mox Diamond, but not so much against you. Uh, so in the end, I'm boarding two Exalted Angels, two Wrath of God, and I'm taking out uh, the Seal of Cleansings, uh, Rune of Protection, Red 1, Enlightened Tutor, which means I need to keep uh, Fire Axian Furnaces in the main deck, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate, but at least they cycle. Um, so there's not much else I can do with most of the, the rest of the sideboard is against other matchups. So I, I, I hope it carries I, I think me there. generally Enlightened Tutor against Blue deck is not what mm. you want to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Game two, I'm gonna be on the play. Uh, Tomash went down to six, and I'm gonna start with an all star Firex in Furnace. No, I'm really scared. You should be. I'm just going to start. Best, best thing okay. to do on the, on the draw. Yeah, that's right. My turn. Uh -huh. Basically, Adam has to play. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna spark spray mm -hmm. it, play the planes, and plus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now play Meddling Mage. Okay. But what to name? That's, uh, that's a hard one. I will probably name Rift. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So end of turn, I'm gonna sort mm. the Meddling Mage. And the other consideration. And I'll play. Haven and Lightning Rift. And go. Brilliant. <laughs> I agree. I'm just as excited as you are. Silver Knight, sure. And what's your so turn? I'm just going to my end of turn. Um, I'm going to uh, remove the bottom card and then cycle. Draw a card. Basically, don't have anything. It's kind of my message. Uh -huh. um, hmm. I'm going to cycle the Eternal Dragon and ping you for two. Yeah, 17. Just fetch planes, play it, and pass. How many cards? Uh, three more. Mm -hmm. I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you have three cards. Still three cards. The same three cards. Basically, at this point, it looks like a race between Lightning Rift and a Silver Knight, which is a fair race. I don't like. I don't like those odds. Unblockable damage on uh, both sides. Mm. Let's see. Can't play sure, this. that's fine. And stand still. Stand still. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I turn. will die. Go. So I'll draw a card. And I'll pass the turn to you. Mm -hmm. Draw. Mm -hmm. mm, cycle, uh, slice and dice, deal two to you and one to the seven eye line. 15, you go to 16. Mm -hmm. That's right. And your turn. Draw a card. Um, planes, go. Attack. Prevent it with Corhaven. Yes. And this. Mm -hmm. That's good. Goat. End of turn. Uh, cycle. Deal two to you. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. 13. Draw a card. Planes. And go. And draw. Mm -hmm. Attack. Uh -huh. 14. I don't like that. Go. End of turn. 
I'm gonna cycle an eternal dragon deal two to you. Mm -hmm. I have eleven. Fetch a planes. And then cycle some more. Yes. I'm gonna cycle this one. Deal to two, draw a card. Yes. And my turn. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. And I'll pass the turn to you. That's fine. Mm. Yeah, I want to prevent it this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's terrible. <laughs> Now you have how many cards? Six, oh, five. Okay. Hmm. I guess I will have to. Am I drawing three cards here? Yes, you are. Oh my god, I'm drawing three cards. So, okay, so a standstill goes away. Yes. And I'll draw three. Something One, terrible. Two, three. I like that. What am I going to do with so many cards? You will discard them. All right, uh, my turn, or you may uh, I guess blow it up. Turn, I'll do that. So end of your turn. Okay, in response, I will cycle something. Um, cycle renewed fate. Deal two to game two. You go to seven. Uh -huh, I go to sixteen. Draw a card, mm -hmm. and the rift goes away. Yes. Draw a card for the turn. Um, so it looks like you have an an all. Do. do you have it? Okay, so you come to the rift. I'll source the blow shares here. You win two. Good. I'm not going to die. And I'm gonna play morph. And go. Mm -hmm. So I go to 18 mm -hmm. as an exalted angel. Because I just play my ling mage. Mm, that resolves. I guess I have to uh, say rift again. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Okay. But I'm afraid hmm. we're getting two. Uh, how many cards do you have? I have two. Two cards. I think. Swords? Mm, no, no. I think I'm gonna play it to turn my upkeep. Mm -hmm. Humility? There's a couple of interesting options here. It's not gonna be Phyrex and Furnace, that's what I know. Uh, I think I want to go for a rift anyway. Uh huh. Yes, it's definitely the card for this matchup. Mm, it is. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I, <laughs> I thought that I might draw Wasteland or Armageddon or something, but I felt you will not have an answer to mm. my to my knight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, of course, I did see the Core Haven, but yeah. I'm gonna play. Uh, Wrath of God to get rid of the meddling mage and then the rift. Mm -hmm. Now about and pass the turn. Okay, which is like that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Okay, mage. resolves. I guess I'll say rift again. Mm -hmm. There's only one more left in the deck. Is there only one way. more? Well, I mean, I've already played three. You only played three? No, 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 I played four, obviously, but I already played three. Okay. So there's like one more so left. There's in only the one deck. more. Okay, maybe. Well, now I won't name it. It's <laughs> going to cost me. Well, what can you have? So the question is, am I actually trying to make you oh, yeah, choose possibly. something else? Um, okay, I will just say maybe Eternal Dragon at this point. Oh, okay, my turn. Your turn. So I'll draw a card. I think I'm gonna kill your Mishra's factory at this point, mm -hmm. and 
Then I think hmm, you have one card. Mm -hmm. So I'll play a land, Phyrex and Furnace, oh, no. and go. It's the beginning of the end. <laughs> I'll attack. Prevent. Yes. For the Wrath of God, go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, is that the bottom card? Yes. Uh, is that the bottom card? Mm -hmm. Cycle. Draw card. Yes. Cycle doesn't matter. Cycle game two. Mm -hmm. oh, stretch. And pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Try to attack the pocket uh, Prevent, prevent one. one. Yeah. Okay. Go to 18. Your turn. End of turn, cycle. Yes. Mm -hmm. don't, don't even bother tapping them okay i'm gonna cycle decree for five of course you do oh, yes. i mean by to now, be honest i drew a bunch of cards yes so by now like, you, you probably should have it it's true so there's five tokens incoming three four five uh, i draw a card uh -huh. and i'm gonna quadruple block the middling how many cards do you have two Two. two, three, three, three. Okay, that's case, everybody, everybody should block the main image, I think. Mm -hmm. So I take two, I suppose. Yes. I go to yes, sixteen. Yes. Two soldiers down. Oh. Okay, my Ooh. turn. Yes. Okay. I'll draw a card. Okay, this is for kids at home. Don't let the game to go to this point. If you don't play standstill like an idiot, I'll attack. Yeah, take. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll take it. I go to six. six. Um, I'm just gonna hard cast an eternal dragon mm -hmm. and bust the turn. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, what do I do? Might just want to get, bring back the dragon for more dragons. I'm not sure the names of the dragon or... image. I only pointed it out. <laughs> Usually people forget about those. Yeah, yeah. Not, but like, obviously Adam is not usual people. <laughs> now this is just like it's it's a uh, it's a reasonable threat. In this deck, in in late game, like it's 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 a plan. It's very is slow. It's very game? slow. Is but this late game? Is there a word yeah. for post post late game? Post <laughs> draw cards. Yes. Um. So I'll attack. Goes one. And. So I think if you Armageddon, it doesn't get you anywhere. Like you unmorph at the end of turn. Hmm. And then sure. So I'll just. Play a land and pass. I'll land more. Mm -hmm. It's fine. So it's for Oh. Okay, okay. game three. Another game. Welcome to game three. I have to say, Adam already knows what I have because as soon as I drew seven, I just wanted to play it. Uh, so I'm ready with Spark nah. Spark as well. Yeah. Well. Stand still. No standstill. Still the night. Wow, it's unfortunate. Oh. Okay. Mm. The all star of this matchup, mm -hmm. Ferrix and Furnace, and go. I have to say, I do like that you top it white. <laughs> Because of the standstill. Of the standstill. Mm -hmm. Okay. The two? Okay, yeah. That's 18. Not a great. Off my land. Okay. And go. Uh, I'll cycle. Yes. We'll see if this is 
you know, we just counted that Adam needs seven mana to cycle a uh, decree to get four tokens to kill this mm -hmm. monster. Well, we start getting there. I'm yes. gonna cycle the Eternal Dragon. Four mana to go and pass. Obviously, if he draws Corhaven, I will be very angry. <laughs> and you still have a bunch of wastelands that, that can uh, get you out of that spot. Go. Um, more cycle dragons. And go. 14? Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do. Game. Cool. <laughs> so end of turn cycle mm -hmm. and cycle. Nice. So the Adam doesn't want his land drops. Very clear. Mm -hmm. Draw. Um hmm. okay. Cycle. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. Your turn. End of turn. Actually, before I'm done cycling, I'm gonna cycle the fourth Eternal Dragon. Mm -hmm. How many planes are there left in the deck? I'm wondering. Oh, there's still some. Okay, oh. looks like this deck doesn't really run out of planes. No, he's getting too close to the seven mana. So, no. uh, this one's in my hand. And uh, I think I would just want to return the dragon. One of them, anyway, mm -hmm. to this one. Uh, draw a card. Play land and pass the turn to you. Ten. Yeah. Go. Uh, draw. Okay, draw a card. Do I do something else? Um, I might actually want to bring back. Another dragon. Another dragon. Sure. I'll bring back a dragon. I'll draw a card. Oh, wait, did I already? No, I don't think so, right? No, this no, is your right. upkeep. So yeah, I'll you draw a card. Upkeep, right? I'll play a land and pass the turn to you. Eight? Yep. I think I'll discard something. I'll cycle the dragon. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this will be relevant. Uh huh. I mean, I do have a lot more lands than you, so like that would be one happy weather at the wayfarer. And so that means the the dragons in my yard. Uh, wait. Okay, I have actually. I should have discarded as well because I have um, mm -hmm. several more. So I should have discarded. Oh, possibly this one. So I'm try to, trying mm -hmm. to speed it up. So this is in my hand, and I have seven now. So nope. I'm going to ant up, draw a card, play a planes, and pass the turn. I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Attack. Okay, so I'll cycle, making five tokens. Of course. Of course. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> draw a card. Yes. I get cost. It took some time, I gotta say, but I'm gonna block with all five. Yes, I'll just quit this. So two of them die. Mm -hmm. And it's an to this card. Mm -hmm. So I'll attack for three. Yeah, that is fifteen. And I'll play a lay land and pass the turn to you. Mm -hmm. Got a card. 
So end of turn, I have some bad news for you, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cycle another decree. It's time for six tokens. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna draw a card, and then you can then you can discard. So two, six, okay. card. Okay, I think that's yep. it. Thank All you. Right. We just played three games, uh, Astral Slide, or I mean uh, Rift, I should say, against White Weenie. Two of those games were decided by a standstill, but unfortunately not for the player who cast it. Um, we, we had a really quick chat here about whether the card is actually good in the matchup, and I think the opinions here are uh, kind of split. What do you think, Tomáš? I really, I mean, of course, in the, in the second game, that was a mistake to cast that standstill. I really had nothing. Obviously, next turn I just drew like answer for your rift. Mm. I think if you have some decent clock, it's it's fine. Uh, but in this match, I just still can't believe I didn't draw four flags. I mean, yeah, like, that six, was seven uh, seven draw steps. I could yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually got Armageddon, but I didn't got four flags. Mm. I could have also got like Mishra, you know, at mm. some point. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I still I'm yeah. still kind like, of baffled by it. I'm not so sure if, if, even if I didn't cast it, what would I do? I mean, you, mm. I would have like Mother, Meddling Mage. I didn't have really any counters. Mm -hmm. It was not mm -hmm. that I could play this draw and go game. Right. Mm, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm just not quite sure about it. Of course, it was probably too slow. Mm. You know, in the hindsight, it's quite clear you will not miss your land drops. Yeah, but like, I think you can't really judge on, or like you can't jump to conclusions on whether the standstill is bad just based on these two games. They, they just mm -hmm. turned out... Uh, they played out really unfavorable for you, but they it was not. Of course, they could have uh, gone uh, in a different way. Um, I, one thing that I like about this, the the rift uh, chances against standstill, is that there's a, a bunch of cycling and also for eternal dragons. So you're, it's very hard to miss land drops, yeah, and then you eventually you cycle into the degree like uh, like half your deck cycles. It's uh, kind of something you so, showed in the first game mm, that you miss some right. land drops. You know, I, I could obviously, I'm, I'm thinking, I had, obviously, you had probably more life, uh, life draw. Mm. My clock was probably really delicious slow. <laughs> but I think at any point, even if I cast, I think if I, even if I cast Armageddon into standstill, mm. it's still mm. probably fine. Because you really need um, a lot of mana. Because I could, I could source to Plowshares the Silver Knight in response. That's true. I, mm. I, I get that. Mm. But to kill me, like really kill me, that mm. means with Decree, you need too, many, too much mana. And even mm. if you get like to two mana, you play the Rift. I I just need one mana to like, answer it. That's true. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah I'm I'm yeah. still I'm still not sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I gotta say that these were a bit weird games. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about the matchup in general? Who's favored? I would think in uh, I I would say the white weenie or white mm. weenie should be favored because you have some counter magic, you have some draws. I just think the Savannah Lion is horrible. You just can't <laughs> in really this particular it. matchup, in it matchup, is yeah, it dies to basically anything yes. like. The, the Rift deck sneezes and the Southern Line yes. dies, so yeah, that, that's it's, unfortunate. It's really unfortunate, yes. Mm. Uh, but other than that, I think you have some counter magic, you have answers for the Rift, like loads of answers. Mm. You have, uh, again, here, if I could like, cast a fact of fiction, you know, at, at some point, mm. yeah. it would be a different game. I gotta say that I agree. I think that it's a very close matchup, and then it's, it's, it's anyone's game, but I also think that this particular setup of the White Weenie deck is, might be slightly favored because it has the answers to Rift, and it has some uh, cards that are not easy to get rid of. Not the Summon Lines, but more the, the Silver Knight. Uh, but yeah, the games went this way, and uh, we'll, we'll see uh, which matchup we will prepare next. Uh, either way, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Um, feel free to like or subscribe our channel and our videos, and we're going to see you next time with uh, another match uh, of uh, Primodern. Yes, you can also tell me in the comments uh, how would you play differently. Sure, we, we actually we always uh, like to see that because there, I'm I'm sure there's a lot of different lines that that we could have taken and uh, sort of gone in a different way. Thank so, you, Adam. Uh, thanks, and see you next time.